Hey guys, Kevin here. Let's talk about routes in TypeRocket and how they compare to rewrite rules in WordPress. Now, when we talk about routes, what we're talking about is URLs and what happens when you visit a URL. So a typical route would look at the full URL and then determine based on the method that that URL is called from, that's a request method of get, post, put, or delete, what that route should do within PHP and then tell PHP what does to display on the page. So in WordPress, it uses rewrite rules for this kind of mechanism. And that means that essentially when we visit a URL with hello-world, it will load the hello world blog post. If I look at this blog post, we'll see that the URL here is hello world. And then our rewrite rules in WordPress know that we're looking for hello world as the URL. And then if that URL is visited, it will load this information from the database within our templates. We can look at this better if we inspect the page here. We go to network tools and then I have doc selected. So it loads only the request for the page. I'm going to refresh here. We'll see that the request was made to the hello world URL. And if I inspect that, I'll see that the request URL was for the path hello world and the request method was get. Again, there's four of these that are typically used, get, put, post, and delete. And get is simply telling us that we want to read or look at a specific URL. Post would be to post information, like creating something. Put would be to update something. So if we had a database entry and we wanted to hit the URL and tell it to put new information in, that would be updating and delete. Requests would represent something that's deleted. Now, when you send over those types of request methods, it's really up to the backend code to determine what happens. So you could have those types of methods, get, put, post, and delete, do the opposite of what they're actually doing. It just depends on your implementation. But from a standard standpoint, we want to use get requests to display information and put, post, and delete messages to manipulate information. And so that's what we're doing here within WordPress rewrite rules. We're looking at a request for hello world. We're looking at the request type of get, and that's telling us that we should just look at and view the page. If you need to look at all of the WordPress rewrite rules, TypeRocket provides a plugin called dev for that. If I go to rewrite rules here, I'll see all the rewrite rules that WordPress has. And you'll see that even TypeRocket has registered some rewrite rules. When you create and add new rewrite rules in WordPress, you have to flush your permalinks, which can be done from the permalink section and hit save changes. And this is why when you register a post type, you have to flush your permalinks because that post type has not yet had its rewrite rules registered. In TypeRocket, it's very different. TypeRocket essentially doesn't require you to flush out your rewrite rules. It dynamically adds those on the fly, your routes and rewrite rules within PHP right when you need it. So you don't have to flush your permalinks constantly in order to test different URLs and different paths. So the last thing to note here about WordPress is that when we look at these rewrite rules, we don't want to declare any of our routes within TypeRocket to override anything in this list. So it's important to know what's here. And as you install different plugins, different rewrite rules may be added. So let's go look at the code for TypeRocket and how it handles rewrite rules. So here we are in TypeRocket, we have the routes PHP file which is located underneath our installation of TypeRocket here as an MU plugin. And then if I look for routes here, that's where we'll, we will be. So inside of our routes file, I can define custom routes for our application. The way I do that is to call the routes or the TR route function. And then I tell it what type of URL I want to match. I'll pass it a string and I'll call it my type rocket. Okay, so we're going to match this URL. And then we need to know what type of method to respond on. Is it a get request? Is it a post request? A put request? A delete request? Or any of those. So that would any would basically match this route to any type of request method. However, we just want it to respond to get requests. And then we need to tell it what to do after we've uh, visited this URL. And we can do that by calling the do 
method and then passing an anonymous function here as a quick example. We can use controllers later, but this is just a basic intro. And then we just need to return a value. So in our instance, it will be my type rocket page. Okay. Save that. Go back here. Go to the home page and then visit slash my type rocket. And then we see my type rocket page. If I was to comment out this, refresh it, it's going to load this data. <laughs> and that's because earlier, I believe, nope. Um, oh, I commented out what it returned. I didn't comment out the uh, route itself. So let's save that, refresh the page, and now we should see a 404 page. And if I go in here and create a new blog post, call it my type rocket, publish that, view the page, we'll see that it loads that blog post. But if I go in here and turn on this route, type rocket's going to take priority and override that specific blog post. So any routes that I have, will take precedent over anything that WordPress registers. Now, this is working within the overall type rocket context. So this MU plugin, if it's on a multi-site, for example, these routes would apply to every single site, but I might not want that. I might want this inside of a plugin so I can determine which sites have that route. And I can do that by creating a plugin. Here I have a sample plugin. This is a WordPress plugin. And I'm just using the TR load routes hook and that's going to load the routes when they need to be loaded by type rocket and then my plugin can begin to use this route so I'll save this refresh the page and it still works and then further if I wanted to return some JSON we make this easy in type rocket maybe I want this to be message and then I want it to be my type rocket JSON refresh the page, and now I have a JSON API. So it's that simple. In WordPress, it's quite difficult to do this type of thing. You have to know about rewrite rules, and then you have to know about the templating engine and how that templating engine connects to rewrite rules, and it, it, there's quite a lot of back and forth. Again, TypeRocket makes this super easy, and then we can use this as a foundation to start working on our NVC application.